everybody welcome back for another edition of more games how you doing Jim here hope you're doing great we have got some really really awesome games uh, to take a look at today I've been having a ton of fun with this stuff I have half a dozen games that I recently picked up for the Nintendo switch and uh, just I don't know, kind of hard to describe just how much fun I've been having with them. It's just like one awesome game after another. Um, so I'm only going to sort of give uh, kind of like general overviews of these games, gush a little bit about them, if you will, uh, because in the future, uh, some of these games I do want to do like full in-depth reviews because I've just been enjoying them that much. I want to feature them on Show Reviewkin and sort of like uh, sing their praises, spread the love about these games. Uh, so that'll be coming down the line. But for now though, we can just chill out and enjoy taking a look at these six great games. Uh, we're gonna kick things off with these three games here. Uh, all fantastic, all worth picking up. Everything I'm gonna talk about today, I highly recommend. But first things first, we've got this little game right here and it's a doozy. It is called Hunt Down. There are some that have no interest in gang affiliations nor company citizenship. They only pledge allegiance to the highest bidder. Their title, Bounty Hunter. Their only objective, Hunt Down. Oh my goodness, was I surprised by this game. Pleasantly surprised, I'll say. Uh, I picked it up after seeing it on a recent episode of GameSack, and I thought it looked pretty damn cool, and I was a little shocked that I'd never heard of this game before, because it seems like a game that would be right up my alley, and I'm happy to say that it absolutely is. Hunt Down is... Awesome. Uh, the general premise is that you play as a few different bounty hunters in a dystopian cyberpunk future setting, which is a little cliched at this point, but still really cool. And it's a side-scrolling run-and-gun with some light platforming elements. And at the end of each stage, there is a boss character, uh, which is, of course, your bounty for the stage. And this is just a very fun well-made side scroller the controls are spot on the difficulty is adjustable but in general it's a fairly challenging game especially uh, some of the boss fights some of those cross over into frustrating territory but are still really fun they tend to require uh, quite a bit of strategy and recognizing the the boss uh, attack patterns and things like that also uh, you get a ton of different weapons to play around with. Uh, each character has a standard handgun with unlimited ammo and a throwing weapon, but you can pick up just about every kind of firearm you can imagine, be that shotguns and machine guns, rocket launchers, uh, even a Gatling gun that the game calls Old Painless, uh, which is really cool so it's a very fun game it's super violent as well but you can turn the blood down or turn it off completely if you don't really care for that and it has to be said that the visuals are awesome this is a great looking game that takes a lot of inspiration from 80s cyberpunk and dystopian movies and there are a ton of 80s movie references in this game and the soundtrack, likewise, is really good. It has a great sort of a synthwave sound, and there's more to say, uh, but I actually want to do 
a full in-depth review on this game in the future. So I'll save that stuff for later. For now, though, I'll just say hunt down. It's awesome, and you should play it immediately. Pull yourself together. Next up, we have a game that is almost too fun, and that is Wind Jammers 2, which is obviously the sequel to the original Wind Jammers, aka Flying Power Disc here in Japan, and I played the hell out of the first game on the Neo Geo CD, and that game was developed by Data East and released in 1993 or 94, I believe, and this game, almost 30 years later, was developed and published by Dot .emu, and this is a trend that I like. Taking obscure old Neo Geo games and making updated sequels, and went very well with Andro Dunos 2, uh, which is amazing. It went well with Gun Ryu 2, which we will talk about a little later, and holy hell, did it work out well with this game. This was the perfect choice for an update, if you ask me, because the gameplay is about as simple as it gets, but it is also very fun, addictive, and super competitive. It's essentially a greatly upgraded version of Pong or something. Two characters on either side of the court throwing a frisbee back and forth, trying to get it past your opponent to score some points. A very simple premise, but you make the gameplay super fast and you give all the characters crazy power shots and you play on different courts that have different goal layouts and bumpers and different kind of special gimmicks and what you've got is a super fun game the first game was awesome this one is even better because the core gameplay which was already perfect is almost unchanged but the character additions the new courts uh, the online play uh, it all just makes it that much better. Also, the graphics have been given the Streets of Rage 4 treatment, which not everyone is a fan of, uh, but I like it quite a lot. It's a very vibrant and colorful game, and I think it looks really good, and the soundtrack is pretty good too, very similar to the first game. So it's all positives, nice visuals, nice sound design, uh, and crazy fun gameplay. This is a game I can recommend to pretty much anybody. Wind Jammers 2, awesome game. Are you ready for River City Girls 2? I hope you are because that's what we're taking a look at now and it's going to be a quick look uh, because this is another game that I intend to do a full review of in the near future. It's a pretty big game and I have quite a lot to say about it but I have to say first that I actually did not play the first game until I picked it up along with this one in December because they were released as a collection here in Japan, one and two together. So before playing the second game, I played through the first game and really enjoyed it. And playing both games back to back was awesome and it made it easier for me to see uh, what was kept basically the same because RCG2 
has a lot in common with the first game, mostly the same locations and characters uh, and visuals, but there are a lot of changes too that are definite improvements. Uh, for starters, there are more playable characters. You have four to start with, and you have a couple more to unlock, uh, which is great for a little bit of variety, and you can now have two backup characters at the same time, and you can access all of your characters and all of your items at safe houses scattered all around the city. And there are a bunch of side quests in addition to your main objectives and expanded move sets for all the characters. Uh, there's just a lot of content to keep you playing for a long time. Uh, so that's very much appreciated. Aside from all that, the core gameplay is very fun. This is a great beat-em-up with up to four-player co-op, a big variety of enemies and weapons and cool bosses, and it's a pretty big game. Uh, so I definitely got my money's worth with this one also. It goes without saying, but the visuals are really well done, and the soundtrack is mostly really good too. I found some of the songs to be a little annoying, actually, and the English voiceover uh, was a bit jarring for me, kind of irritating in spots, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, it's tolerable. Uh, and there is an option uh, to use Japanese uh, voiceovers and subtitles and stuff as well. Uh, so that's just a matter of personal preference. Uh, anyway, I'll save it for the proper review, but definitely pick this game up if you enjoyed the first one. And I'd recommend uh, picking up the Japanese version published by Arc System Works. Uh, two games for the price of one. Uh, but yeah, River City Girls 2, it's a great game. That's the halfway point. Three awesome games down. Three awesome games yet to go. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Me. Thanks, Jim. Hey, everybody. Jim here. And have you ever been watching this channel and you've noticed some of the cool artwork we use? You know, probably some of it hovering around me right now. And you've thought to yourself, wow. That would look really cool on a t-shirt or a coffee mug or a sticker or a cooking apron or something like that. Well, good news. Good news, everyone. Now you can get all that stuff because we have a merch shop. You can head down to the description for a link to it. It is kidsureyoucan.myspreadshop.com. You can pick up all of that cool artwork we have on a whole host of different uh, merch products. We've got t-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, stickers, uh, basically everything we could put this stuff on we did. Uh, it's merchandising. We're going to be putting it on a flamethrower pretty soon. Uh, I'm told that's going to be really cool. So again, kidsureyoucan.myspreadshop.com. Uh, go check it out and if you are so inclined, pick up some of our cool, cool merch and then you will be cool, cool too. That's what I'm told. That's, you know, from the testimonials. Uh, anyway, yeah, go and check it out, and with that being said, back to the show. It's like people only do things because they get paid, and that's just really sad. All right, thank you, me, for that very vital information. Uh, handsome fella, that guy. Uh, we're going to get to the next three games uh, that I picked up recently, but first, uh, I just want to uh, show something kind of cool here. Um, I uh, pre-ordered uh, this, the um, River City Girls 1 and 2 uh, bundled together. This is how uh, it was released in Japan. This is how everybody got to play River City Girls 2 uh, that picked it up physically. So you get to enjoy both games. But um, I pre-ordered this off Amazon and I guess wasn't really paying attention to the fine print, but it did come uh, with this uh, pretty cool sticker sheet. Uh, so you got all the characters here. You got Misako, Kyoko, uh, Kunio and Ricky and the logos and stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm never actually going to put these stickers on anything. They'll just, you know, stay in this little plastic thing for, I don't know, uh, foreseeable future. 
Uh, but that was kind of a cool addition. Um, when it comes to River City Girls, uh, I'm a little conflicted because I love them. I love the gameplay, I love the, the visuals and uh, sound design, the, the music. It's, it's all great stuff. Um, but as someone who really played the Kunio Kun games after moving to Japan and just like playing the Japanese versions, like never having played River City Ransom uh, growing up or like Crash and the Boys or anything like that, only playing the Japanese versions. Um, this is kind of like that mix of like, it, it's still the characters and the names, but it's very also uh, like Americanized, like the dialogue and everything. It has almost like a Cartoon Network uh, kind of feel to it. So I'm a little conflicted. Um, but that being said, you can also just go ahead and go with the Japanese voiceovers and, and whatever else, if you prefer. Um, sometimes uh, the English voice cast here can get a little bit grating. Um, it's, it's, it's not always uh, as hilarious as uh, they were hoping it would be. But on the whole, still amazing game, an amazing couple of games. And I'm happy that this came uh, with my copy of River City Girls 1 and 2. I think, who's putting out the physical, because there's this that was released in Japan. And then there is, I think there was a Hong Kong version as well, that's just River City Girls 2 by itself. And then maybe someone is releasing it physically. I think, what was it, like Limited Run Games or, or something was releasing this physically in uh, North America. So, I don't know. Personally, I'd recommend picking up this, the Japanese version with both games included. Uh, go for that. Uh, anyway, that's just a little aside. We're going to get back to the games. Uh, we've got three more games right here. They're all awesome. Uh, we're going to kick things off with this uh, little gem I picked up recently. It is called Gun Ryu 2. Now we come to Ganryu 2, which is another awesome example of an obscure, older Neo Geo game that was picked up by an indie developer for an updated sequel. And just like with Andro Dunos 2, it was published by Pixel Heart, and also I'd never played or even heard of the original. And I still haven't played it yet, but I'd like to give it a try just to see how it measures up, because Ganryu 2 is really good. It's a classic style, side-scrolling action platformer that takes a lot of inspiration, obviously, from other ninja games. Uh, probably most, obviously, would be the Shinobi series, but I also picked up hints of Ninja Gaiden and maybe like a little bit of like Strider 2. Uh, but it all comes together really well. The gameplay is smooth and responsive. Uh, and I must say it gets pretty damn tough, especially some of the more elaborate platforming segments uh, you've got a double jump, a wall jump, and an air dash to make use of, and you need all of them uh, to get through some really, and I mean really tricky, oftentimes frustrating segments of platforming, uh, but still fun, despite how frustrating they are, kind of in a Donkey Kong Country kind of way. Uh, for combat, you have your sword, which you can use very rapidly, kind of strider style, and you have your kunai throwing knives, kind of lifted straight from... Revenge of Shinobi, and you use those for your long-distance attacks, and you have some ninja magic as well uh, that you can use for offensive and defensive abilities, but it takes forever to build up your power meter, uh, so you can't really rely on it too much. Uh, this is a great playing game, though. Very fun and challenging, and there are some really cool segments thrown in, like a brief shoot 'em up section for a boss battle. Uh, and on that topic, some really big, cool boss battles. Uh, it's not a very long game, mind you. There are six areas with two stages each, but it's great while it lasts. And for an indie game, I have to say that the visuals and sound design are really well done. So all things considered, I was pleasantly surprised by Ganryu 2, and I can easily recommend it to fans of old-school action platformers because... Uh, and stop me if you've heard this one before, it's awesome.
Next up, we have Wild Guns Reloaded. And this game was released back in 2018, I believe. And I have no idea why it took me this long to get around to playing it. Uh, I think what really made me want to pick it up was that pretty recently I played both uh, Pocky and Rocky Reshrined and Ninja Saviors. Uh, both reimagined 16-bit Natsume games that I absolutely loved. So I felt like I should really go back and try out Wild Guns. And I'm glad I did because this game is so much fun. I actually never played the SNES version, so this was my first exposure to Wild Guns. But I've always liked this style of gameplay. Stuff like um, Nam 1975 or Cabal, even the... Uh, the Punisher NES game is pretty cool. Here we have four playable characters, an Old West setting, but uh, a bunch of robots and laser weapons thrown in too, which is pretty cool uh, mashup of things. The gameplay is very straightforward. Just shoot all the bad guys while avoiding getting shot yourself. Uh, you have a bunch of different guns to use, and you get dynamite and uh, even a cool like laser lasso which holds enemies in place, and man, does the screen fill up fast with enemies. So you have your work cut out for you, kind of a tough game if you go it alone, but there is up to four-player co-op, which is really cool. The highlight of the game for me is the boss battles against giant robots and tanks, other cool stuff like that. Just simple, straightforward, fun, that kept me playing for quite a while, despite uh, how, you know, kind of short the game is. Uh, and just like with the other Natsume games I played recently, the graphics and sound design are fantastic. Really nice visuals, cool designs and all the big robots and machinery, stuff like that. And a pretty badass hard rock soundtrack with just a hint of Old West twang. And I really enjoyed that. Been having a great time with this game. And very happy I finally picked it up. Wild Guns, Reloaded, Top Notch, Modern Retro Goodness. Last, but certainly not least, we have Akai Katana Shin, which was released in December of last year, but this is in fact pretty much a straight port of the Xbox 360 version, which I also played quite a lot years ago, and this is a cave shooter and one of my favorites, uh, though this particular version was ported by City Connection, who have kind of a mixed track record uh, when it comes to porting games. They don't have the the excellent reputation of, say, M2, for example, and their Shot Trigger series. Um, but I was optimistic since prior to this, City Connection ported over the Death Smiles games, and they did a pretty good job with that. Uh, even though, again, that was a straight port of the Xbox 360 versions uh, with no real alterations or additional content. Uh, anyway, this is another solid port by City Connection, so they're on a nice little streak now. Uh, this version features three gameplay modes, the original arcade version of Akai Katana, an arcade arranged mode called Zetsu Akai Katana, and my personal favorite way to play, uh, which is the titular Akai Katana Shin, aka Slash Mode, uh, I do believe. All fun gameplay modes, Akai Katana in general, is just a really great, challenging and uh, for me, addictive bullet hell shooter, and the gameplay here is solid, not laggy or buggy in any way, pretty much spot on to the Xbox 360 version, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, there's also a level select mode with a bunch of different settings, so you can go and uh, take on those especially tough stages on your way to your 1cc uh, one credit clear, as they say, which I haven't achieved yet. I've made it as far as the Stage 5 boss on one credit, and my high score 
is something in the area of like 250 million. Uh, so I've still got some practicing to do. Also, again, this is a cave shooter, uh, so the visuals are great, the soundtrack kicks ass, and the story is nonsense, uh, but who the hell cares, just as long as we can blow some stuff up. So a good port, lots of fun, and I wholeheartedly recommend it to Switch owners who enjoy a good shoot 'em up Akai Katana Shin. An awesome game indeed. And there you go, everybody. Six awesome games uh, for the Nintendo Switch. I highly recommend picking up any or all of them. Uh, yeah, just been having so much fun with these recently. I've become quite the Switch enthusiast. I still pick up uh, retro games on a regular basis, as I'm sure many of you know. Um, but for the new modern retro stuff, the like modern arcade style games, the shoot 'em ups and the beat 'em ups and uh, platformers, action games, all that kind of stuff. I've really, really, really uh, been sticking to my Switch. Uh, it's just been great as of late. Uh, so there you go. Uh, down in the comments, let me know what do you think of any of these games. Have you played any of them? And uh, what are your thoughts on them? And uh, since we're talking about Switch games right now, what are some that you all are looking forward to in the near future? Uh, as of recording this, a little bit of a fourth wall thing here, but it's uh, January... Uh, sometime in January right now. What is today's date? I don't know. It's mid-January, and uh, in the coming months, there's all kinds of awesome stuff uh, coming to the Switch that I'm looking forward to. Uh, shoot 'em ups and uh, action games and some first-party Nintendo stuff as well. Uh, so let me know down in the comments. What are some Switch games that you're looking forward to uh, maybe coming out in the next few months? I'd like to know. Of course, Tears of the Kingdom is there, but... Again, there's shoot 'em ups. There's the Ray's arcade collection is coming, and uh, Raiden 3, and uh, uh, Trouble Witches, and and all that cool stuff. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this edition of more games, and I do hope you will come back for the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>